Hi everyone, just want to do um, a quick uh, video on how to convert some standard GIFs over into ZX graphics. Um, a few people have asked me in the comments to the uh, video that I did of uh, uh, just a quick I just can't get enough montage video and uh, just thought I'd post something up and show everybody how to do it. It's so easy that I can do it so hopefully uh, hopefully everyone else can as well. So what I need to do uh, first of all is I've made a quick video, um, a quick uh, file just for the video which will have an input folder, an output folder and the GIF that I want to um, convert over into ZX format. Um, you can see the GIF running here uh, and that's what it looks like um, before it gets converted over so that's basically plucked from a video then just made into a GIF loop. Uh, you can do that online with um, a really good utility uh, called EasyGIF which is there and that's where we're going to go to first because we need to convert this GIF file into its many different slides um, and we can do that by showing you the page so I choose my input file and that will be Max Headroom so I open it up upload it and then we should have a little picture of Max Headroom when it uploads coffee lovely right okay so we've got that there so that all seems to have uploaded properly we can split it now and then when we split it it will split it up into its many different frames you can do this with more or less any video that's converted into a gif obviously the longer the gif the uh, more slides that you need I'll download that as a zip thank you very much and then when that's finished downloading we can open it up. Oh, I'll buy it later. Okay, so if I just select all of them, extract them to the video that I want, the folder I want rather, and the folder is called for the video, I think. Where are we? Where are we? There. For the video. And we want it in input. So we can extract them all across. That's done. That's done and we'll just go here for a sec so the input now I've got all my frames they're ready to be converted over so the next thing you have to do is go over to the worldofspectrum.org uh, website which is absolutely brilliant um, and then what you need to do is get hold of a utility called uh, image to spec and um, so what you need to do for this is select your input file which is going to be obviously where we've input it to anyway so I'm going to select select all of them and open it up I'm then going to select my output file which is going to be the output one of the same uh, of the same file that I've made for the video so I'll save that over and then if I go to options I can view the preview of the dither preview and that gives me various different um, outputs through the filters that you can pick in the settings um, to keep the video nice and quick I'm not really going to play around with it too much but um, I think uh, um, I'm going to go for NASIC square 4x4 so NASIC square 4x4 I can get to from the control panel and go to dither options uh, Naxit Square 4x4 is already selected. Uh, you can you can change various different things. You can go to a Giga Screen or Monochrome. And if you go to Monochrome, you can change the ink and the paper color as well. So you can really have a good play with that. And uh, that will give you um, any effects that you need. Just have to be a bit patient. Okay, so, but it's very important when you do this, you go to the miscellaneous options. Um, and what we need to do is I need to make sure that the tap uh, file box is ticked and the GIF one is ticked. Anything else is just up to you, up to you. It's personal preference, but that's all I'm going to do for the video. So I could just press convert and then it will start to work and it will process each image and then make it into a tap file for me. And that's done now, I think. There you go, so that's done. Okay, so we just need to get our file back up. There you go. So if we go into full the video and we go to output, you can see I've got something there uh, like a fuse file already made because that's how my computer interprets a tap file. So if I tick, uh, click that, ready to go, 
you can see straight away my spectrum on my PC is uh, going to load up the the file and there you go so that's how you can do it now what you can do from here is you can use a uh, like Microsoft Microsoft expression which is what I'm using for the video at the moment but you can actually just you know go over that window and then save that and you can then uh, process that save it as a mov import it into a movie maker and then you can make your own montages or whatever like that or you can um, load it into a real spectrum and uh, you can do that by going to um, easy um, no uh, world of spectrum .org again and you need to get a utility called tap to web which is there and if you drag that file into tap to web it will make a web file and we all know that when you do a web file this might slow down a bit here because I'm doing a little bit quite a bit there you go I don't know if you can hear that yeah of course you can hear that so that is actually the um, the tap file converted back over into a the um, the, the square waves that you need to load into your real spectrum and the other thing that you can do is if we go to um, we'll go to reset there okie dokes you can actually play that file into a spectrum emulator as well you can open that up there like that and then I'm going to click that and open it. That'll take a while to work. It does for me anyway. Load. There we go, and that's actually that's loading from the WAV file, which is absolutely brilliant. Right, okay, so that's going to load that up there nice and quick. And then that will load the next frame. So if you use um, your screen capture on this particular bit and then convert it into a GIF, you can have a, um, a pretty good looking GIF maybe for Twitter or just for any sort of uh, video effects that you've got. So um, there you go, really. That's uh, how it convert in a nutshell. It really wasn't that difficult, was it? So um, I hope I can make a few more bits and pieces uh, for, to, to help people out and if there are any extra questions find me and ask me and I'll try and answer them uh, but you're more or less you prob probably know more than me or as much as me now anyway so there you go uh, thanks for watching uh, one thing I forgot to add in the main bit of the video that I'm just bolting on to the end here obviously is that I um, showed everybody how to do it on the spectrum but you can um, instead of going through the uh, things of the spectrum there was one more file that was left which is automatically renames an uh, image uh, to ZX spec but obviously if you open that up with open with and we'll just open that up with like PUI Microsoft Explorer that automatically uh, plays it as a GIF image anyway so you do have that GIF image before you want to process it onto the ZX Spectrum um, just watch the video back and uh, notice that I didn't add that in the main bit so uh, there you go you can get me on my blog which is uh, retro retrotext.blogspot.com or co.uk or uh, any, any other uh, URL uh, you can follow me at the other Carl as well on Twitter so uh, there you go so that, that should show everybody everything thanks very much again and see you later again bye bye